The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep the bride's day and night, and the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit. First the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields a sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can I use for it? It is like a mustard seed. When it is sown in the ground, it is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it, has, it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can dwell in its shade. With many, such, with many such parables, he spoke the word to them. They were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them. To his own disciples, he explained everything in Christ. Saint Mark in his gospel is again laying down the mystery of human life and our Christian faith, our spiritual lives. And basically we see that there is a connection, a parallelism between nature our human existence and our relationship with God, the triune of God, present in Jesus in the church through the Holy Spirit. Jesus is telling his disciples the mystery of growth. And we see in even the modern times we have but it's called the Green Revolution. And what is that? That we have to respect the life force that is present in creation. And we are told that if we do not respect this, if we violate the laws of nature, respecting the life force present in nature, it will be destroyed and ultimately destroy us. And in recent times, I will not say because I'm incompetent to say that a lot of the natural disasters are caused by this abuse of the laws of nature. But we at least see the possibility that this can happen to us if we do not follow the wise reflections and knowledge of the scientists. I'm thinking of the great flooding, the worst in history in the country of Australia, the province of Victoria, the city of Brisbane. Never before have they suffered from such a flood. And they have to 
use all of their ingenuity and their wealth to repair the damage that comes to us. And we know also from earthquakes in the Pacific that these can produce tidal waves which can cause great devastation as happened a while back in Indonesia. So we are at the mercy of the goodness of nature when it is respected and we honor the life force present in it. Or it can be a destructive force, it takes away everything we have put our heart on. So the Lord is talking to us that we're not in charge of this world. We depend on others and we depend on nature and we depend on society. In modern times we talk about globalization, that economies and political uh, efforts have to be on the planetary level because we are all into one. But what we would like to reflect on in this gospel hidden life force of our lives is not only on the human level, the natural level, but on our faith level. When we reflect, where did our faith come from? Each one of us can answer that on the personal level. And I know that my faith came principally from my parents. They were good Catholics growing up in the early part of the 20th century. And then they got married and raised a weird, a good Catholic family. We were part of our parish. I went to Catholic school. And this embedded within me a love of the church and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ and his mother. So I cannot say I am responsible by myself. We save ourselves with others. But the greatness of our stewardship, our Christian stewardship is that not only are we saved by others, but the Lord has given us a vocation, a calling, where he has entrusted to us the possibility through the church, through his own creativity, and through the power of the Holy Spirit to share our faith with others. So we contribute to the life force, not only on the human level, but also on the spiritual level. That with Jesus to inspire us, to protect us, to guide us, we are able to help Him to bring others into the life force, not only on the human level, but also on the spiritual level. That is the grandeur of being Christian in the 21st 